Um, obviously, it killed me not being out there with the guys, but obviously a big win, and I'm was ecstatic for him. Zach, you played with Nick in 13. Uh, yeah. You've been through different quarterbacks. Is there any adjustment period for receivers uh, with a new quarterback to, to get on the same page with him? I mean, it's definitely not the easiest thing, switching quarterbacks, but I think there's a lot of familiarity with Nick. Uh, the coaches understand what Nick does well. Obviously, Doug's been with him for a long time. Uh, I mean, the whole season, he's been playing well, even on the scout team, per se. So, um, and he, with Nick, he throws such an easy ball to catch that there's not a real adjustment period in terms of catching the ball. Some quarterbacks throw a tough ball to catch, but Nick's balls. Really easy to catch, and it makes it easy for receivers. You caught your uh, first NFL touchdown from him? Yeah, that was a long time ago against the Raiders when he was freaking throwing everyone <laughs> touchdowns. Um, but, yeah, I mean, we we had a lot of good games together. Nick was – that's my my first year in the league, his second year in the league. He was playing at an unbelievable level. He's still the same quarterback, and we're excited to have him. Going back to that year that he had, I mean, he was really accurate on a deep ball. How is your confidence level in his deep ball passing ability? Yeah, I mean, he, he loves slinging the ball. That's what he's been doing his whole career. Even when I played against him at Arizona, he had not a lot of help around him, and he was still out back there slinging the ball. So he's a great quarterback. We're excited to have him. I don't think there's anybody else in this situation that we would rather have. Phil says he's relying on, the, on you guys on this team to help with his transition. How has he reached out to maybe the receiver tight ends in this um, I mean, just today, I mean, after practice, all of us were out there throwing extra, just uh, just uh, seeing what, what he wants us to see and where he wants the ball and kind of uh, just work on that timing. Um, there's not a lot of changes from an offensive standpoint between Carson and Nick. Um, Nick's very, uh, I think he's very comfortable and very confident in, in his abilities right now. I think we're also here the next year uh, in 14. You know, obviously Nick broke his collarbone, but what was different in 14? Things just the deep, deep pass kind of disappeared from the offense. Yeah, I mean, obviously we lost a great player between year one and year two that is known for getting deep. Um, obviously, that's a big part of it. The personnel plays a big part of it. Um, the second year in the league was kind of the st beginning of the end for a lot of people. Um, so Nick's still the same quarterback he was the first year. The personnel was a little different his second year, and we expect him to go out there with all the confidence that he had the first year uh, throwing the ball deep. Carson was having an MVP year, and you're good friends with him. You say a prayer before the games with him. I mean, how do you guys just immediately kind of let that go and, and get in here and practice and go to the next game? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, luckily we have a lot to play for still. Uh, guys are focused on the ultimate goal, which is winning the Super Bowl. Uh, we got a big game this week against the Giants. There's a lot of ramifications for us. Uh, to win this game. Obviously, it's tough losing a guy like that, the leader of the team, the unquestioned leader of the team. Um, it wasn't easy for us to see him go down like that. Everyone knew something was up because usually he never shows any pain or any emotion or anything like that. He's so even keeled. So when he was kind of signaling to his knee that something was wrong, we kind of knew something was wrong, seriously wrong. Um, but it's tough. I mean, it's part of the game that we've all, we've all experienced losing someone on the team, whether it be JP. And then the next man up cliche is real, but it's also a tough reality at times. So it wasn't easy, but it's something that we have to uh, do at the time.